Today, we're going over 10 ways to attract patients on Facebook. And don't worry if you have a different name other than patients. If you say, I have clients, or I have customers, this applies to you. I'm going to share the 10 ways really quick. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to dive deep into each one of the 10 ways so you can get a little, little bit of more, more meat. So here are 10 ways to attract patients on Facebook. Again, if you don't have patients, if you have, if you call them clients, if you call them customer, this applies to you. Patient, customer, client. Again, I put it on, for, I put face, uh, patients because my focus right now is helping doctors. So that's why I put patients. But if you got customers, clients, it applies to you. So don't worry about that. So the first thing we, we you, the first thing, raise awareness about what you believe, combat bad information, crisis communication, answer common questions, engage with patients, educate patients, patient support, remarketing, record more video conversations, involve clients in the business decisions. Those are the things. So let, let's get started with raising awareness about what you believe. And this one is one is easy, but people and small business owners forget. Raise about awareness about something you believe, something you support. Every month, something is going on. It's an awareness month about something that you can get behind. Your your company can get behind. Your your uh, you believe. For example, January thyroid month. I'm helping a functional medicine doctor and. On January, he needs to talk about thyroid month. February, heart. March, nutrition month. But also, as you know, New Year's is a special day. Valentine's is a special day. And so on and so forth. There are things that happen every day, every year, for a day, for a week, or a month that your brand, you need, should stand behind it. Especially if you believe, remember, your stakeholders. You are one. Of course, you need to generate income. You need to, uh, you are a stakeholder, but who also is a stakeholder? For example, if you say that uh, you are, you support the local community, how are you educating or how are you supporting the local community? And you align those awareness month, weeks, days, into your marketing calendar. So you should be planning 12 months in advance, minimum three three months in advance, and see what what content, what awareness, what can you raise awareness on and leverage. Join the conversation that already exists in people's mind. I guarantee you, in, in this, for example, using the doctor as an example, in January, he has patients that are thyroid, they haven't checked, checked themselves. And now when we are talking about thyroid awareness month, I guarantee you that they know that in January is thyroid awareness month because they've been, that's something. Once you are diagnosed with something, you are hyper aware of everything going on. But also now that you are joining the conversation and people are watching your videos, they're going to start sharing when in during that month, which is going to help you attract more people. Raise awareness about something you believe and something you support. Combat bad information. What, what do you mean about combat bad, inf bad information? First of all, combating bad information, fake news, anything that you see wrong, it's everybody's responsibility. It's your responsibility. If you have some type of knowledge, expertise in a field, and you know people are sharing bad stuff or links that are not okay, that's something that you should be engaging and combating. Anything that you read, if you are not the one posting on social media, send it to the, your marketing person. Hey, I read this, send a blurb, and this is what we need to post. These are the things that matter to combat fake information, to position yourself as a thought leader, as a, separate yourself from the competition. That's an easy win that a lot of doctors, a lot of lawyers, a lot of business owners are not utilizing. Combating bad information, is our is everybody's responsibility. What about crisis communication? Crisis communication can be 
Now, let, let's use a topic right now that is hot. What happens if one of your employees or, or a customer visit your store or interacted with you and had COVID? What would you say that are you prepared that you have that statement? Uh, what happens if you have fire? Hopefully you don't have any emergencies like that, but that's the thing with emergency. They don't, you don't have a, they don't, you, you don't have a notice in advance. You have to be prepared ahead of time. What happens if you say the wrong thing on social media and now you start bashing? Do you have a, cry, a, a way to respond, a template pre-made that at least give you the, gu the guides on how to answer in a moment that you are not, it's not a heated moment and it's not a moment that you are, okay, I'm going to make a mistake. I, I said the wrong thing again. And so now is the time to think about all these scenarios ahead of ahead of time a fire uh, a training event all these things that you have that happen year to year or can happen and then prepare that statement in advance and have it in a google doc so not only so if in case you can't answer because you are not you you are not available somebody in your staff and somebody in your team can answer using your guidelines so crisis communication it's a big one keep your audience keep your family, your Facebook, your social media customers involved. Anywhere your customers are online, you should be communicating and, and when some when a crisis happens. Answering common question. And this one is a <laughs> this one is the, the funny one. It's, I don't want to say a funny one. Let, let's answering common question is where most people fail. Because let's be clear, most doctors, most business owners, most lawyers are not answering the common question or the co the questions that they want to know. They're, you are posting information you want people to know. Remember, if you don't answer their questions, somebody else will and they will become their customers. When you answer questions or when you're posting online, remember, People want abs. They don't want the gym workout. They want the results. They want abs. They don't want the gym workout. People want the good vacation. They don't want to make the long lines in the airport. So make sure you're selling and you're communicating what your audience wants. And this one is an easy one. You pay attention to what they're, the comments they're leaving you're paying attention to the, the, the comments are living in your page and other people's pages. The question, how they're communicating, how they're answering that. And that is a key one. Remember, answer common questions, answer what they want. Stop pushing what you want. Engage with your patients, engage with your clients, engage with your customers fast. Social media, the internet made customer service, customer care, an essential tool. But you have to answer, you have to provide and engage with the customer where your customers are. Fast on Facebook Messenger. They send a message, answer it fast. Don't, don't wait a couple days. That's bad customer service. Engage with the customer as fast and, and, and remember, here's the key. I want you to take from engaging. They're telling you what they need. So give it to them, provide good, engage with patients, educate patients, educate your customer. That's a, don't let other people educate your people. Don't let other people educate your patient. Don't let other businesses educate your customers, your client. This is the easy one, the lowest hanging fruit. And I'm surprised more people are not doing it. That's something that I'm doing in Facebook Live with, doc, with doctors where we educate twice a, uh, twice a month, every two weeks, live on Facebook. And that's more than enough for, the doc for me to promote his practice for a month. And the idea of the two Facebook Live or two private meetings, that are about 20 to 30 minutes each, is to find memorable moments whether they are small clips or longer clips that you upload on YouTube, small clips for Instagram or Facebook, or, or picture when somebody leave a comment, you find memorable moments, snippets, they can live by themselves. 
so you can utilize them and promote the message that you want to promote. So educate patients, my friend. Educate patients. On average, on average, from a 20 to 30 minute, we have more than enough to promote from one session, 20 to 30 minute Facebook Live, we got more than enough to promote for two weeks. So two per month, it gives us enough for two for two months. On average, I, I can get about 14 clips from a 20 to 30 minute uh, Facebook Live, which is amazing. For It's a, a w great way to use your time. If you want to know more, if you want to know more about that, just leave a comment and, and I answer any question you have about that process. So definitely educate your patient. What about support? Look, you got to provide support where your customers are just like engaging, whether it's on the phone, whether it's on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. And let me tell you, my friends, forget about demographic. If you think people, you, all people are not on Facebook or on Instagram or on Twitter, you're wrong. If you, and here's my challenge to you, whatever your assumptions are, test them. Test to see. If you haven't tested them in a while, test, especially if they're demographic. I like to, demographics are, are great, but search intent. What is the intention of the person when he's searching how to do this or what I need to do, the best way to do X, Y, Z? How can I cure this? What is the intent? What are they trying to solve? And can you provide that information and, and that support? So patient support, customer care support is all about that. Care customer care, customer support, provide good care, take care of them fast, and that will help you attract more clients. Remarketing. If you don't know what remarketing is, remarketing is if you, let's say you visit a website, you visit, for example, you visited my website. I'm sure you, this happened to you in the past, whether it are shoes or you're trying to buy something for the house, you visited a website and then you went to Facebook and the ad starts following, following you. That is remarketing. B basically, somebody that is a warmly, somebody that visited your website, you should present them with an ad saying, hey, you visited my website. Or if, if it's a client, can you leave me a review? Remarketing, using remarketing to ask clients for reviews or to engage is an amazing tool to download something. Hey, I noticed you watched my video, but you didn't take any action. You can do a lot of crazy things like that. But if you don't use remarketing, you're wasting a lot of effort, marketing effort, time and money because somebody that visited your website and left and you are not tracking them or they didn't take any action, you have to pay again for that person to visit your website or to make an action with you. Why not pay less and do a little bit of remarketing and do the follow up? Let leverage technology, my friend, leverage technology to help you out, to be more efficient with your time, to help you spend less money. It doesn't matter if you're using the uh, delivery for groceries, pick up because it's more convenient or Amazon take out of safe and subscribe. The same thing applies here. Remarketing is an amazing technology that you should, you should be leveraging on. If you don't understand a lot about remarketing, leave a comment, send me a message. I, I try, I do my best to answer your questions and help you out in any way. Here's my favorite one, recording more video conversation. I'm a firm believer that if a picture is worth 1000 words, a video is worth 1,000 pictures. I like to do a lot of Zoom meetings and I record those Zoom meetings and I find that memorable moment that I can share with you, that golden nugget that I can share with you. And now, and again, Zoom might be low resolutions, but it does work. On average, when I edit and I use a, a Adobe Premiere to edit for the most part, I can get 14 plus clips, images, so I can promote on social media. But if you don't like the standard Zoom look, you can put titles and get fancy. That's a, a great example where I had a conversation with Carlos Gill, the co-founder of Outlook Mass. We had a, a great conversation. He's also the author of uh, The End of Marketing. But I'm also showing him my book, which is show that, you know, and I use that as a, as a proof that, hey, I'm a published author. Uh, Mass Tiempo is my first paper book and it opened a lot of doors. And that's an example of a great snippet that I use for my own marketing. So again, my friend, this is something that I highly encourage you to 
have more conversation on video and record those conversations so you can extract the golden nugget. And, and if you don't know anything about editing, I'm sure you can find somebody that edit your videos. Or I can even teach you how to do it yourself or find somebody if I can't do it because the fact is I can't work with everybody. Limited time, correct? Please record more video conversations. Lastly, how about involving your clients in your business decision? Before you say, Angel, <laughs> that's not how it works. Let me give you some ideas, my friend. Loyal clients, in the upcoming years, in the upcoming months, you more than ever will have to make an extra effort to create loyal customer, loyal client, loyal patients, not people that are forced to watch, to come and visit you or to buy from you. You can involve your patients, your clients, picking the employee of the month. An employee of the month program is a great, people know when they're, I'm going to give you a couple examples if you don't have employees, but let's start with employee. Employee of the month uh, is a great program to have. Clients know when they are going to a happy office, when they're going to a happy, happy business. The key about an employee of the month program is to actually make it meaningful, not just a, pony, a horse and pony show where you just print a certificate and make a big deal out of it. And when I mean about involving clients in the business decision, well, how about sending an email to the clients, to your patients? Hey, uh, who you think was the best employee? Who treats you the best this month? That's an easy ask. Make them feel part of the family. Involve them. Patients will, because they know, as staff knows that clients, patients are picking the employee of the month. They're going to go above and beyond to make them happy. You make clients part of the family. You, you make them work the employee of the month a meaningful one. And that's great because guess what? Happy employees, happy customer, more word of mouth. It's, it's marketing. Marketing is not just in social media. Mar you have to see marketing as a com company as a whole. The image that you're presenting, the message that you're communicating, how your employees are, are acting online. And what about if you don't have employees, how can you involve clients? Well, you're, picking, you're designing a website. Get them involved in the, in the mock-up process. Do you like these colors? What do you think? At the end of the day, they are the ones that will visit your website, will view your logo. Yes, you have to like it. And there are many things you can involve your, your customers. And if you want to know, let, let's talk about it. But you, you involve, get them involved in the process. And you'll see how they become your family. That's your tribe. It's just a win-win situation. Involve your patients, your clients in your business decision. And now, my friend, we're at the end. I want to know if, what else you want to know? What, what else I need to expand? What other topic? These are great ideas, 10 ways that you can attract clients next month on Facebook and actually in any social media. Yeah. Information is good, but if, action, if you don't take action, the information I gave you is worthless. 10 easy things that you can apply. Probably the more, more complicated one will be remarketing if you don't know, but I'm sure you can watch plenty of videos on YouTube or reach out for help and I'll do, them, do, my, do what I can to help you out. So those are 10 ways. Thank you for, leave any questions. Let me know what, you, what topic you want next. I'm going to do my best to upload, do Facebook Live, every two weeks and upload weekly to YouTube. So in any case, stay at, stay, stay tuned. You can find me on all the social medias by Angel F. Anderson on YouTube. You can go straight by visiting angelanderson.tv or you can visit my website for the latest blog. With that said, my friend, I hope you have a fantastic day. The best day ever. See you in the next one. Peace out. Say I shine in the light I don't